We have a lot of details to get to on that top secret deal to free Bo Bergdahl, the American sergeant held by the Taliban for nearly five years. Full team coverage this morning, starting with ABC's Martha Raddatz in Washington. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, George. It will be until at least Wednesday morning before Bergdahl is reunited with his family, all part of a carefully managed reintegration program the military uses for freed captives. Right now, he is being briefed and decompressing at Landstuhl in Germany after a harrowing five-year captivity and a dramatic release. 7 p.m. Saturday, with U.S. drones and helicopters overhead in case the deal turned deadly, a team of so-called black U.S. special operators, those who are part of the most secretive missions, moved deep into Coast Province in Afghanistan for the prearranged meeting. Close to 20 Taliban surrounded Bergdahl. A tense exchange, but no shots fired as the 28-year-old was hustled into a waiting helicopter. When airborne, Bergdahl scribbled with a pen, SF, meaning special forces. The commandos responding, yes, adding, we've been looking for you for a long time. Bergdahl broke down in tears. It was June 30th, 2009, when Bergdahl was captured by the Taliban after sources say he walked away from his remote base by himself, leaving his weapon behind. Taliban videos would soon follow. The third video in April 2010, a desperate young soldier pleading. I'm begging you, bring me home. And back in Idaho through the years, Bo's parents just as desperate. His father growing a long beard and speaking Pashto directly to the Taliban and to Bo. U.S. sources say that Bergdahl was being held in Pakistan, in a city, so a rescue would have been extremely difficult. It is why just three and a half hours after Bergdahl was released that the U.S. freed those five high-ranking Taliban from Guantanamo, sending them to Qatar and leaving the Taliban claiming victory. But this morning, there are still lingering questions surrounding Bergdahl's disappearance, as addressed by National Security Advisor Susan Rice on This Week with George. And we'll have the opportunity eventually to, to learn what has transpired in, in the past years. But what's most important now is his health and well-being. But this morning, there is a growing firestorm about the deal to release Bergdahl and the circumstances of his capture five years ago. With some former and current soldiers I have talked to and others taken to social media outraged by the deal because they say he walked away from his outpost willingly and put lives at risk and may have cost lives in the search for him. Yeah. But U.S. officials have dodged the question, George, as you know, about that publicly. Yeah, when I asked Susan Rice about that yesterday, Martha, she seemed to reflect the view that uh, whatever Bergdahl did five years ago, he's paid the price. I, I think that's true, George, and, and U.S. officials will say on background that he will unlikely face any sort of punishment for that. Okay, Martha, thanks.